it could cause even worse things. And that's what worry does. If we are worried, it's best it's best to pray, to shake it off if we can. And it's also good to do other things to get us brains occupied. Reading or whatever, maybe watching an interesting film. Worry, it says in the Bible, is a sin. And we are all human, we all can worry sometimes. And it's so hard to snap out of that sometimes. Once it grips your brain and your mind, it's hard to snap out of it. And events like people flashing me and stuff like that did cause extreme paranoia. Um, and then I was like looking at every. This was about over ten years ago, by the way, and it happened for a reason. And it brought me back to. Ch it brought me to church. I used to go to church when I was a kid, but I'm glad it happened. But it shouldn't really happen anymore. The devil wants to bring me down and forgive me God that I stood up and stuck two fingers up at that call forgive me God um, you you will take care of my problems I actually thought I think it was an Asian an Asian person in that car I might be wrong but um, it looked like an Asian person um, also pray for that family who were next to me in that other car looking at me a bit odd because I got out of the car a bit fast and snappy and I stuck two fingers up at the car who was sticking his lights on and off trying to annoy me trying to put fear in me that's what the enemy tries to do. I come against fear in the name of Jesus. And I pray, Lord, for that individual that you will help him. Help him. Because them people need help. They need deliverance, don't they? It's not normal behaviour doing something like that. I just thought I'd mention in them two things. I was actually going to do a video earlier on, but couldn't be asked. I just sent really tired earlier on. Um, I don't know why, but I keep getting tired again. My dad hasn't been feeling too good as well. Not not as bad today, but other day he looked terrible, you know. And he keeps getting stomach ache, gets stomach ache nearly every day. I nearly rang the doctor up the other day but didn't want my dad didn't want to because he was scared to death of going in the hospital. My dad said they'll only give me another tablet, I'm on too many tablets. Which he is. He's on I'll show you. This is my dad's tablet box. Um, there's loads of stuff in here. Loads. Um, that's not everything. He's got about three boxes, three large boxes uh, next to these as well. So when you're on that many, plus my dad's just come off steroids now, and I thought it was going to be a bit better, but he hasn't been too good. So just pray in the name of Jesus that this stomach ache will go off him. Totally, 100%. And also pray, Lord, that you will give him life and energy. And I pray, Lord, that you'll make him feel a lot better. I don't know why on earth he's not getting healed. Um, you know, we pray for him and that and stuff. 
Now, I know not everybody gets healed, but just to make him feel better at least, I want people to pray that we know we'll start to feel better. Yeah. In Jesus' name. I pray, Lord Jesus, that my dad will start to feel better in the name of Jesus this month. Let your power come upon him, give him strength. Um, and give him, Lord God, put your healing upon him. I'm not the Nero. And I will see you again. So, God bless.